everybody so in this video i'm going to show you how to run hacky phase models directly using olama so olama is an advanced tool that allows users to easily set up and run large language models locally it is a platform designed to run open source large language models locally on your machine and hacky phase is also offers a huge collection of powerful models so it is a machine learning and data science platform and a community that helps users build, deploy, and train machine learning models. So it provides the infrastructure to demo, run, and deploy your AI in live application. So users can also browse through your models and data sets that others have uploaded. So this is especially helpful if your preferred model isn't available in Olama but it's listed on Huggy Face. All right, so I'm going to walk you through how you can run this easily. So first, we need to install Olama. So let's head over to olama.com AI. So you go to type in Olama AI and you go to olama.com. So in here, you click on download. So depending on whatever system that you use, you're going to click in on that. And it is pretty simple to install. All right, when it's successfully installed, you should have an icon like this, which tells you that Olama is successfully installed. All right, so we're gonna head over to my VS Code. So in my VS Code already set up and created an, an environment. So now what we wanna do now is we're gonna test it out. So we are going to say, so let's look at Olama version. So Olama version, and you can see we have version 0.3.13. All right, so let's see if we have model running, Llama list. All right, so we don't have any model running. So we are going to do what we are going to do now is we are heading over to Hagi Face. So we are going to type Llama, going to run Llama run hf.co slash so let's head over to hacky face so before we do that so in olama we have a bunch of models running here so as you can see llama pay llama 3.2 we go back so we have llama 2 all right if you want to check out other models too you can just versions too you can just click in here and you can see a lot of models here that you can select. Okay, so we want to test out how to Olama, especially when we don't have some of this in Olama. Okay, so what we want to do now is we are going to test it out, this model out, so you can also select different sizes and weights as well. You can just look at here and you can just select or click, you can download that or click on and select the the versions of that model. Okay, so we are going to copy this from Hugging Face. It's a model, it's a medical V1 GGUF model, and we head over to VS Code. So we are going to paste it in here. So we're going to paste it here, and we are simply going to hit enter, and it's going to pull that model from Hugging Face into Olama. All right, isn't that great? All right, so let's wait for a few and see how this comes out. All right, this. Great, so so let's test it out. So we are going to, so the sizes or the storage, the space is gonna be dependent on your, the, the type of model that you select from Hagi Face. Okay, so this is just a lightweight model. So let's try it out. And so we're gonna say that, what is mental health? So since it's a medical um, model, Right, so we're going to be asking that relate asking questions that would relate to um, health. So we're going to say mental health. And let's hit it and see how this works. And it is coming out perfectly fine. All right, so it's running through Olama. Right, so all right, this is great. And the response is also great. All right, so you can you know use that in to build to build your applications and run it through Olama. All right.
this was all that I wanted to share with you. So do test it out and let me know what you think about this. All right. So do not forget to share and subscribe and see you in the next one.